This is Nikki S. Rudder. Um, <laughs> I'm basically laughing my butt off right now. <laughs> um, this book by M. J. Edwards, um, "Kissing the Coronavirus." I don't even. I don't even know where to start here. Right, right here, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> All right, M.J. Edwards. This is only a 35-page book, so it's not even a short. It's a short story, so it's not show. It's not even a novel, so it's just a short story or novella. But she was supposed to cure the coronavirus, and said she found love with it. First of all, that is absolutely disgusting. Like, blech, Re revolting. <laughs> um, right. If you're an aspiring writer, and I'm a published author, and uh, seeing this book, big yikes. <laughs> Here's the back of it. She's supposed to cure the coronavirus. Instead, she fell in love with it. Dr. Exelia Ashingford is a part of a crack team of scientists tasked with finding the cure of the death thing coronavirus. Little did she know, she ended up falling in love with it in a steamy viral erotica. Kissing the coronavirus is a raunchy tale about forbidden love. Dark desires come to life. Unless you're finding debut, her son. <laughs> She's a girl. <laughs> her son. Of course her son would say that. The best thing I've ever read. Nice review on Amazon. That's probably a troll. Or somebody who's really into erotica. Really messed in the head. <laughs> Here's, um, it's on Goodreads. <laughs> it doesn't have one and a half stars. It's the same. And, uh, I read it. I rated it. <laughs> I, gave it I gave it a one as well. <laughs> Now, I'm not trying to shit on the author because, well, actually, yeah, I am, um, because what in your right mind would you make a book like this? Like, the, the cover alone makes me laugh so hard. I can't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even right now. Now, on a letter note, this is my novel. It's on Amazon. I'll put the description in the description section below, but this is my novel mentality, and uh, I wrote, I worked really hard on this. I worked so hard in this for three and a half years. That's my that's my novel, and uh, here's the back of it. It's kind of hard to read, so here's the description right here. Mentality: How far would you go to support the love of your life? Twenty-one year old Jamie Townsend, who lost a just little job at a local supermarket, is unhappy and depressed. Upon a recommendation from a good friend, he applies for a job at a bakery where they hire toxic adults. That, that's where he meets Sarah Johnson, an eagerly withdrawn Aspie who deals with the past and current times of daily life. They both, the both of them together, confide in each other, and the ship blossoms. They soon realize Sarah's mental state is rapidly declining, but with Jamie's uncredited love for her never relents. And um, I worked so hard in this novel. Um. So, if you're looking at Kids in the Coronavirus and you don't like it, try this novel out. So, yeah, I'm basically um, selling my novel online. Um, but this book, big yikes. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> but I rec I totally want you to, if you subscribe to my channel and you want to find something to read, I can recommend it. Um, I worked so hard on this and... Uh, and I have gotten some sales already, so I'm very thankful of that. And, uh, but back to this malarkey. <laughs> I can't even say anything about this. Bleh. Yuck. Well, thank you guys for everything for watching. Buy my novel if you want. Bye.